guys get your morning coaching call every day with the marketing animals breakfast club these guys are fantastic it'll kind of pep you up it'll help you out it will allow you to go about your day unencumbered with absolute enthusiasm to close more deals check these guys out with the marketing animals all you have to do is click this banner right over there so check this out kind of interesting here is zillow's homepage. here's rocket homes homepage. Zillow Rocket. Zillow Rocket. Now, I know Rex is suing Zillow right now and they're suing NARA because they're pissed that their site and their products suck and nobody wants to use it and they've raised billions of dollars that they now have to explain how they pissed all that money away so it's easier to sue and blame somebody else. I get it! Disagree, but I do get it. However, in this case, Seriously, I think Rocket Homes might just have done a command C to a command V and just copied and pasted Zillow's code because the site doesn't just look similar, it looks like identical twins with different haircuts. Doug Siebold, the CEO of Rocket Homes, he said, I love this, by pairing the ability to quick find the perfect home for you along with the proprietary market intelligence not available on any other site. Rocket Homes has developed a truly game-changing platform that gives a much needed competitive advantage in today's, in today's incredibly hot housing market. Guys, I can't stand stepped on words and stepped on terms. Truly game-changing. Boy, this data-rich intelligence on the metropolitan area that I'm considering buying a home in is truly a game-changer for me. Or, or, you know, eh, I don't know. I've always kind of liked that town. They've got good restaurants, cool parks. I don't know, I grew up there. I think I'd like to live there. Or, as Rocket Homes would have you think, wow, I didn't know that. Thank God for that proprietary, easy to use consumer format of all this data. Now I know this is truly a game changer and I need to act now and move. I mean, I get it. Everything needs to be hyped up. But here's the deal. Nobody really cares, do they? They don't give a crap. Folks, they just want to see a house and figure out what the rate date and freight is going to be on that house. What's my rate? What's my payment? And when do I get the keys to the house? Now, this is why I say that local focused real estate agents working with local focused loan officers who are immersing themselves in their local communities are always going to win. You show properties, you write offers, you run scenarios, and you close the deal. Wash, rinse, repeat. Now, I'll tell you what, if you want what is truly a game changer, <laughs> I mean, that's it right there. Yes more so than proprietary market intelligence that's not available on other sites. See, local agents and lenders don't have proprietary intelligence, they have personal intelligence. Now I ask you, which one is more relatable to your average buyer and seller? Now, honestly guys, I could go on forever with this thing, but it's time to move on. You get the point here. Agents, lenders, do your job. One, two, three, go. So President Biden just nominated Alana McCargo to run Jenny May. Now, in case you don't know what Jenny May is, Jenny May is the Government National Mortgage Association, and they are a government-owned corporation of the United States federal government within the Department of Housing and Urban Development. They are the FHA, VA, and USDA, what Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are to agency conventional loans. So Jenny May is big. No, Jenny May is huge. They're massive a peer staring eye to eye with Fannie Mae. So who runs Ginny Mae is extremely important to the future and the direction of residential mortgages. Okay, so Alana McCargo, this lady is the nominee. What we know is that she served as vice president for the House Finance Policy Center at the Urban Institute, which is a ultra liberal Washington DC based think tank that carries out economic and social policy research to open minds, according to them, shape decisions and offer solutions. Very much agenda driven, really a reflection of the policies that we've seen so far from the FHFA and the GSEs. So there's going to be more of the same. In short, expect to see policies with your FHA deals that mirror the GSEs policies and products that will both put more of an emphasis on low to moderate income and minority borrowers, which in and of itself is a really great thing. I just hope that the products are not loan based, meaning high LTV, low down payment programs intended to ramrod folks into mortgages that like in years past 
will be doomed to fail. You know programs like we're seeing from Fannie and Freddie right now. Programs that have a long, rich history of crashing and burning. I also hope these policies don't run roughshod and flagrantly and punitively fine mortgage companies for failing to implement these type of lame duck products, again, as we've seen in the past. These legacy policies and products have not worked and will not work in the future. My fear is her Urban Institute DNA makes this one all but guaranteed. I just hope not. I hope we look at affordable housing as a solution. Homes that come with a lower price tag that give underserved communities a realistic chance of succeeding. But I doubt it. Now here's the thing guys, let's hope in this scenario with Alana McCargo that I'm wrong. Hey, these are very, very important shows today. Hey, listen, this whole thing with Alana McCargo is a very, very important change and it's gonna have a massive effect on the landscape of mortgages going forward and real estate at large. Make sure you share this show and keep the conversation going and let me know what you guys think about the stories that we covered today. With that said, make it a great day and I will see you manana. Later, skaters.